Are you serious? I told you, this is going to be a powerful day. May 25th, 2012, I'm reporting on biblical signs of the apocalypse, which obviously we are approaching. Because Jesus said, look, you can see the day approaching. You don't know the day nor the hour. Jesus said that in Matthew 24, 36. No man knows the day nor the hour. No, not the angels in heaven, not even the Son of God. Only the Father. He said it in Matthew 24, 36. He said it again in Mark 13, 32. But look at the signs approaching. I mean, you don't want to miss my YouTube videos today. You want to stay with me all day. I'm going to have to stay all over this. All right. In our last video, we told you that but Japan has a volcano erupting. I went through a list of earthquakes, including Christchurch, New Zealand, which was rattling and shaking things up again, which is like a precursor to the birthing pains of the body of Christ getting ready to go. Are you saved? And while all that's going on, folks, uh, there's 100,000 dead fish on the Chesapeake Bay again in Maryland. It's like God is saying, do you hear me? Again, they're trying to see if maybe some poisonous algae has something to do with it. We've been hearing that and hearing that. Keep, we keep hearing about maybe this, maybe that, maybe fireworks, maybe the fish got scared. Uh, you know, maybe, but there's never ever a follow-up report that says, yep, here's why 28,000 fish died in the Rocky River in Ohio. Nope. Nope, we can't tell you why 5,000 blackbirds dove headfirst into the pavement in B.B. Arkansas. Not one New Year's Eve, but two New Year's Eves in a row. We can't answer why a hundred dead whales washed up on the banks of New Zealand. We can't explain what's going on with the 294 dolphins in Peru or the 1,300 pelicans in Peru. We don't know why 7,000 bald eagles gathered off a... Uh, Comox Valley Island, not far from where I'm at right here uh, in, in Vancouver, Canada. I'm not in Vancouver, Canada, but where it would happen. We don't know why 7,000 bald eagles would gather at a gather? Eagles gathered eating the dead carcasses of rats in a, land, a landfill? I mean, Jesus said where the carcasses are, where the eagles be gathered together, but are you serious? But folks, look what's going on also. There's four cases of flesh eating bacteria being reported right now in Georgia. Now I know that uh, Charlie Daniels sang a song, The Devil Went Down to Georgia Looking for a Soul to Steal, but this isn't what we're talking about. This is serious stuff, folks. We need to pray for these people. It's being reported that Bobby Vaughn of Cartersville, Georgia, has the flesh eating virus, that Lena Kirkendall of Atlanta, Georgia, has the flesh eating bacteria. It's not a virus, it's a bacteria. Amy Copeland of Little Tallapoosa River, uh, it's being reported she has it there in Georgia, and Paul Bales of Midgetville, Georgia. It's a small cluster. I mean, you're talking a 100-mile radius, four people, flesh-eating bacteria happening down in Georgia being reported. And I'm telling you, this is significant information. What's this about? What's causing it? And oh, by the way, can I just throw in a hurricane? What? Hurricane Bud has formed out of nowhere. They're not far from the, from the uh, uh, Gulf of Mexico. Not in the Gulf of Mexico, but on the other side of the Pacific down in there. And it's headed directly toward, looks like, Acapulco. It's coming ashore. It may be as much as 100 mile an hour winds. It's expected to be a Category 2. It's right now at Category 1. It's headed toward um, Manzanello. It's tracking. It's going to come ashore tonight on this May 25th, 2012, around 8 p.m., according to CNN. You might want to check that out. We got our hurricane going. And by the way, we got a lake that vanished. Who ever heard of this? I have heard of it before. It's a rare occasion. It's a really, I mean, I've heard of the Red Sea parting. I read that in the Bible. What? I've heard of floods coming and washed the world away and eight people survived with an ark. That's in the Bible. But we have a lake. We have a lake that disappeared in less than 24 hours. It's exactly what's being reported. In less than 24 hours, Lake Catchit 2. Lake Catchit 2 in Chile vanished. It's gone. The lake is gone. It just went away. Now, uh, it says in less than 24 hours, Lake Catchit 2 in Chile's southern uh, Patagonia 
vanished, leaving behind just some large puddles and chunks of ice in the vast lake bed. The lake's water comes from ice melting from a colonial glacier located in the northern part, some 2,000 miles away uh, from Santiago. The glaciers normally act like a dam, so it contains the water in the lake, always stays. But this year, something shook something loose. And you got an entire lake, and I'm not talking about a little pond. I'm talking about a huge lake, gone. 24 hours, lake's gone. Are you serious? Are you listening to me? What's going on, folks? Oh, there's more. There's more. Um, Costa Rica. I reported on this last week. There's a volcano there called the Turabella. Well, it now and it erupted last week. Okay, major eruption. They're very concerned about it. It's down there in Costa Rica. Well, guess what? Now it's coming out of it is these gas emissions deadly, very deadly gas emissions down there in Costa Rica, and they are evacuating people just as fast as they can. That's being reported right now out of Costa Rica. And uh, it's just unstable um, situation there. But wait, we've got more going on, folks. This is incredible information. Did you guys know a nuclear submarine caught on fire and was burning wildly out of control in New Hampshire? Did anybody tell you about it? Shipyard. Did you hear about it on Fox News? No. MSNBC? No. CNN even? I don't think so. Was it, maybe there was a ticker tape somewhere? I doubt it. Here's what happened. The shipyard firefighters were first called to the dry docks at 5.41 p.m. yesterday, probably while I was on the air with uh, God Discussions. I don't know. The fire started in the forward compartment which Fuller said consisted primarily of a living quarters and command and control spaces, all the non-essential personnel were ordered to evacuate. The, uh, the, off, the officials said just after 10 p.m., the fire aboard the submarine docked at Dry Dock 2 went to a four-alarm fire. Dispatchers were, were describing the fire as moderate, but then this thing got worse. The ship's reactor was not operating at the time. Yeah, right. We'll find out more about this. And they think they got the fire. It's safe. They got the thing under stable condition. It was burning wild. I'm, I'm looking at a picture of it right here. It's like, really? That doesn't look very safe to me. Flames and, I mean, what? This happened, folks, in New Hampshire. What's going on? Um, you got submarines burning in New Hampshire. Out of control. You have... 100,000 dead fish washed up on the banks of Chesapeake Bay in Maryland. You have earthquakes shaking up Christchurch, New Zealand again at 4.7. You have earthquakes in the Kermatic Islands and in Turkey and in Italy and the Dominican Republic and the Vancouver Islands in Canada and Alaska and the Tonga and the Norwegian Sea and in Japan. Speaking of Japan, you have a volcano that's erupted that's causing great concern called the Sakakurajima. And while that's going on, you have a hurricane bud headed toward Mexico, going to hit tonight. It's probably going to be a Category 2 as it comes ashore. And, oh, just throw in a lake disappeared in Chile, just vanished. A lake? What? And if that's not enough going on, we've got a preacher saying the world is coming to an end on May the 27th. Are you anybody telling you about that? Pastor Ron um, Weiland is reporting that Sunday, May 27th, that he is going to be transferred, he's going to be raptured, he and his followers, there's going to be a transformation, and this is huge. And if you don't, and if you mock him, he says, you'll get cancer. Now, I listened to the guy, and I was interviewed last night on God Discussions, and I highly recommend, look at the link below, go to God Discussions, listen to the archives from the May 24th interview with me. It's called Salvation and Abuse. And I'm interviewed. It's a powerful interview. They had so many people trying to listen that the, that the uh, server got jammed at Blog TV. But the archive is perfect. I, and a lot of you missed the program. you got to go listen to it. It's probably the best one-hour interview I've ever received. Seriously. I mean, it was, it was great. Okay? I think it had changed your life. I came out with some late-breaking information, some of it which is newsworthy they're going to be reporting on. I'm not going to say what it is. Let them report the article. Send your life, to, give your life to Jesus, please. 